few people would know as much as they do about the Caribbean had it not been for Deo, Deo. The thing that has always run parallel in your career uh, has been the sense of social activism and, and a sense of purpose, and that, that has continued just as strongly as ever. Whatever we are capable of doing as artists and as a group to help propagandize the civil rights revolution. Uh, people said, when did you become an activist? I said, the day I was born. The purpose of art is to show life not as it is, but to show life as it should be. And artists are compelled uh, by the very nature of the gift to do a lot of things that uh, inspire. Is that the secret in a sense that everybody needs a passion that drives them? I think people who have not experienced a life passion, something that they want to get up every day and go do, have really missed the fullest value of life. The 89-year-old Belafonte says he first realized the power of activism from change makers like Eleanor Roosevelt and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., with whom he marched alongside during the Civil Rights Movement. Was he one of the most influential people as far as your life? I think anybody who met Dr. King had their life changed. He was compelling. I just always felt that one of the great blessings of my life is the fact that I came to be part of his journey. What do you think he would think of where we are now, you know, as a, as a country? I think if Dr. King lived, the mission would have taken another trajectory. Mm -hmm. I think he would have led us down another path. And he had such faith in the American dream. He really did. He believed very strongly in this country. Nothing else needs changing. We are the problem. We are the, we are the flaw. But we're also the solution. We're the only force that I know of that carries the solution. What would you like the last page to be of your book? He gave us his best, or he gave us the best he had. Well, that's all I keep doing. It is awe-inspiring to watch his story. It's incredible to see all that footage. I mean, there he is at all these key moments in history. That's right, and his spirit of activism just as strong today as it was when he walked with Dr. King. His social organization, Sankofa, is putting on an arts and music festival in Atlanta the first weekend of October, named Many Rivers to Cross with so many music stars and, and folks and, and uh, Hollywood stars. You can get more information on today.com. It is uh, it's just really um, an amazing person. It was beautiful. Great conversation. Yeah. 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 Thank you. What he looks honor. great. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Al, thank you. Thanks, Al. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.